In August, at our orientation for the MBS class, we created 10,000 meals for local elementary school students. But a couple students and I realized that we could make a long-term impact, and we decided that we wanted to create a second event to target that same population. We started planning this event, and we've been meeting weekly with facilities and faculty and Geisinger staff to make this come to life. Right after that 10,000 meals event, we actually did a data analysis, because we all came together and we did some brainstorming and one of the biggest things was education and just access to food. So this was the perfect opportunity to combine those things. We started working with uh, Geisinger probably in October um, when the events planning began and Keystone is very service oriented and so is the science department. So we like to give back to the community and this was an important event for us to do that. The idea that our students are becoming members of this community rather than just visitors in the community is a very important part of this day. Once I moved to Scranton, I learned how closely tied Geisinger is to the community here and immediately I learned how I can be a big part of this community even though I'm only going to be here for one year. Coming to Ge Geisinger was really, I'm really glad I made that decision because here in their mission and values is all about community, community health and that was just something I wanted to be a part of so you know after like eight nine months of planning it's, it's just amazing to see like actually giving food to people who actually need it and seeing the smile on their face it just really um, it re made all the work worth it. We learned that we should always eat vegetables. My favorite station is the pain. Now that we have two events underneath our belts. We have the blueprint for who to bring into the conversation, how to organize and plan the event. We have a lot of other community partners that are asking to be part of this. Uh, we love our partnership with Geisinger, and so yes, we will continue to work with them on all of these community issues because for the public health program especially, service is important. One of our goals as a committee was to make an event that could be replicated multiple times, and this is really our kickoff event, essentially. We're, we're absolutely going to do the 10,000 meal event again in August of 19 with our orientation. We want to build more than 10,000 meals. I'd like us building 15, 20, maybe 25,000 meals. As a graduate student council, we have elections every year. So one thing we wanted to do is pass the torch from one generation to the next that we all care about this community. It's not just this one day event. We're going to do this every year and impact people from years to come.